New Technologies in the Educational Process on the Example of Flexum Software. Authors, Agnieszka Ubowska from Faculty of Maritime Technology and Transport, West Pomeranian University of Technology in Szczecin, and Tomasz Krylikowski from Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, Kaszelin University of Technology. Modern information technologies enable supporting the functioning of enterprises in numerous areas, including the management of logistics processes. Many industries have long realized what measurable effects the use of innovative solutions can bring, streamlining activities, shortening their time, which translates into increased customer satisfaction, higher revenues, and increased competitiveness on the market. Despite this, many enterprises, especially small and medium-sized ones, are afraid of implementing new IT solutions. A change in the perception of the use of new tools may be brought about by staff who learn about modern digital solutions during their education. These solutions include digital twins, which are a digital representation of an actual process, product or service, enabling, among others, the improvement of the management of implemented measures. The interest in the use of digital twins in Industry 4.0 is evidenced by numerous publications related to this topic. In order to assess the level of interest in this topic, the following license databases were reviewed. Science Direct Elsevier, Scopus, Springer, Web of Science and Wiley. The analysis covered the last 10 years and included all article types journals, book chapters, conference materials and others published between 2014 and 2023. The databases were searched using the following keywords and phrases. Industry 4.0 and Digital Twin. Table presents the number of publications on this subject in the last decade in selected databases. Digital Twin and Industry 4.0 are frequently used terms, which are applied across different disciplines. For the publications databases for which the number of items found related to Digital Twin and Industry 4.0 was the largest, the share of the most important disciplines, subject areas was determined. The data shown in figures 1 and 2 cover the decade of publishing. The data indicate a constant increase in interest in the use of digital twins in the context of Industry 4.0. The areas of the use of digital models of real, physical products, systems and processes do not only concern engineering solutions, but also include research areas related to life science, economics, food science or agriculture. Such a wide spectrum of digital twins usage obliges universities to implement this type of solutions in the education of engineers, regardless of their future areas of employment. The first definition of digital twin was introduced by Michael Greaves, a specialist of product lifecycle management, in 2002 and concerned digital informational construct about a physical system. According to the literature, the concept of digital twin is considered a key enabler of digital transformation. It is used slightly differently for various scientific disciplines. Kritzinger pointed to three levels of integration in relation to the digital twin concept in manufacturing, digital model, digital shadow and digital twin. Digital model is a representation of a physical object without automatic data exchange between objects. The models can include factory simulations and mathematical models of new products, but do not require automatic data integration. Digital shadow is a representation of a physical object with one-way data flow. A change in state of the physical object leads to change of state in the digital object. Digital twin is a representation of a physical object with data flows in both directions. A change in the state of a digital object leads to a change in the state of a physical object and vice versa. Taking into account this classification, the digital representation of an object and the processes implemented in it using software that enable the determination of their features and mutual connections can be considered, with great simplification, as a digital twin. Digital mapping of a complex object distinguished in the examined reality, constituting a whole created by a set of elementary objects and connections between them, enables, among others, finding optimal solutions in the design, production and the use of systems throughout their life cycle. The skillful use of software enabling the analysis of a system that processes matter, energy or information, which is composed of structural elements, operational elements and flow elements allows the solution of a number of engineering tasks, including the field of logistics.
The software that enables the mapping and optimization of advanced processes taking place in the analyzed area of production, logistics and services is Flexum 3D Simulation Modeling and Analysis Software. It is designed for Windows personal computer systems with the following minimum system requirements. For VR purpose, larger, more graphically dense or complex models, meeting the given minimum requirements will not be sufficient. Flexum supports Oculus Rift, MetaQuest 2, HTC Vive, and Windows Mixed Reality Virtual Reality platforms. The program is equipped with a library of 3D objects enabling mapping of the analyzed process. It also allows for creation of custom libraries by importing graphical objects, which makes it easier to personalize a production line, a warehouse or a customer service process. Statistical tools enable mapping of the natural variability of the process, which allows for the analysis of alternative scenarios and thus the selection of the optimal solution. It is possible to generate charts and statistics for the analyzed model, which allows for the analysis of changes introduced in the system. Using VR glasses we can move to the virtual world of the model. In the academic year 2023-2024, at the Faculty of Maritime Technology and Transport of the West Pomeranian University of Technology in Szczecin, classes on systems engineering and system analysis were conducted for the first time using Flexum software. The course participants were 37 students from the third year of engineering studies in logistics. The 15-hour classes were conducted in two groups. The course program included exercises aimed at solving problems in the field of supply, production, warehousing, and distribution logistics. For 90% of students, it was their first contact with Flexum software. For all participants, it was the only known program enabling mapping and analysis of a real system. After completing the classes, a survey was conducted to obtain information on assessing the usefulness of the software in the education process. The survey was anonymous and contained one open-ended and nine closed-ended questions. The questions concerned both the assessment of digital skills, the software itself and the possibilities of its use. Students answered the following questions. 1. How do you rate your digital competences? 2. How do you rate Flexum software in terms of intuitiveness? 3. How do you assess the possibilities of using software to solve engineering tasks in the field of logistics? 4. Are you going to deepen your knowledge of the software? 5. Has working with Flexum influenced the development of your digital competences? 6. In your opinion, should Flexum be introduced into the teaching process of logistics students on a permanent basis? 7. Do you think the number of hours using Flexum software should be increased? 8. Do you think that knowing the tool will increase your attractiveness on the labor market? 9. How do you assess the usefulness of the Flexum program in your future professional work? 10. Indicate what, in your opinion, is the greatest advantage of using the software. Questions 1 to 9 were closed and rated on a 5-point scale. All course students participated in the study. The largest percentage of respondents considered their level of digital competences to be sufficient. 34% assessed the level of their competences as good, and 26% as very good. The vast majority of students assessed that working with the program significantly improved the development of their digital competences. 39% rated the program's intuitiveness as sufficient, 48% as good, and 9% as very good. Students appreciated the usefulness of the software for solving engineering tasks. According to the respondents, Flexum should be introduced into the teaching process of logistics students on a permanent basis, and more than half believed that the number of hours devoted to working with the software should be increased. Students assessed that knowledge of software would increase their attractiveness on the labor market, but not all of them saw the need to deepen their knowledge in this area. This does not change the fact that a significant number of respondents positively assessed the usefulness of the Flexum program in their future professional work. The respondents mentioned the greatest advantage of using software is support in solving problems, an accessible way of mapping objects and processes occurring in them, and an attractive way of visualization. Conclusions 
the constantly growing number of articles related to the possibilities of using a digital twin in the context of Industry 4.0 proves the importance of such solutions in many scientific disciplines. The examples of the use of Flexum software presented in the article, which enables the mapping of real systems, are proof of the wide range of possibilities of its use. When implementing higher education programs, tools should be used that are adapted to socioeconomic needs at the national and regional level. Flexum is certainly such a tool. Students' acquisition of the ability to use it may contribute to the development of their digital skills and may constitute an additional attribute in their professional career as evidenced by the results of the survey conducted among students. The introduction of modern IT solutions into the curriculum is positively perceived by students who are aware of the usefulness of those solutions in solving engineering tasks. Thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, please contact us.